oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday night. If you're a freeway fan, we're just east of the 405. One of the modern jewels of the NFL. Beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Good to be in the booth with my partner Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy of prime time because wide receivers love the spotlight as much as any position group in the league, and we got two guys who shine under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations, the games on the line, third down, red zone, got to have it moments. There is no mystery. Both these sidelines, they know exactly where the ball's going, and they're just going to say, I dare you to stop them. These are two prime, elite wide receivers in the National Football League. Night game, prime time, they're looking to put on a show. It's Jake Elliott ready to get this one kicked off. And off we go from SoFi. This will be returned from the six. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Rams led out by a Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford, second among all active passers in the NFL. Only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards. Hard to believe, Greg, it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. They'll come up here on second down and five. Now it's a bootleg with Stafford. Huff brings it in left side. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. It's another run here for Williams. And some good blocking. Springing him a gain of nine as we get to third down. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. Third and two. Stafford. It's complete. He's got cup. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going injured player on the field and that is Cooper Cup. That is a player they cannot lose out of this lineup. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. In motion, it's Robinson. A first down throw for Stafford. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down. 
And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Well, this is something we don't see every day, Mike. A team playing with a traditional I-formation fullback. It's kind of a lost art in today's modern game, but in this case, highly effective. Great job by the fullback clearing out the path for his running back, and they're able to pick up the first down. On first down, Stafford. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Second down and three. Here's a handoff to Williams. And that'll give him a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. On first down, right back to Williams. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Let's give some love to the big guys up front here, Mike. The offensive line is looking good here early to start the game couple nice big explosive runs expect them to continue to lean on the big guys up front as the rest of this game unfolds they'll go again with Williams well they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back defense all over that one they stop him for no game you want to see linebackers play downhill Mike meaning there's not a lot of side to side pursuit they're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. On second down, a run with Williams. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Working out of the gun, Stafford. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Hardy's kick is good. And the Rams are out to an early 3-0 lead. You know, they did a lot of good things on this opening drive, Mike. I know they stalled out once they got down there into the red zone. They're going to need to work on finishing some of these drives as this game moves along. But that's a good three points to start this game. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Eagles led out by their quarterback, and he is the leader of this offense. Jalen Hurts has that calm demeanor about him to make the big plays as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch, and now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league, and if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. He's got the 2021 Heisman winner. That's Devontae Smith. 13 yards to start that drive. And a quick first down. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as 
my guy is better than your guy, and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. Hurts to the air on first down. That's caught Saquon Barkley. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. So here is the former Giant. It's Saquon Barkley. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. They'll come up here first and ten. Once again, it's Barkley. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. He'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. On play action, here's Hurts. Open man, A.J. Brown's got it. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Third downs, Mike, those are quarterback downs. Those are the downs where you tend to find yourself in a must-pass situation. And that's where the top guys in the league are still capable of overcoming it. So throw the ball downfield, be accurate with the ball. Winning on third downs, that is a recipe for success. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. It is brought in, in the end zone. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Greg, it's one of those, sometimes you got to feel like you know where the ball's going to go. And the defense knows it, too. But it still ends up in that guy's hands for the touchdown. Absolutely, Mike. In these critical situations, like down here in the red zone, it's players, not plays. It doesn't matter what you drop on the board. You say, okay, who's my best player? Put him in a good matchup, let him go win, and give him a chance. That's exactly what they do here, and I think we're going to see a lot of this the rest of the game. Elliot, good on the extra point. And the Eagles move out to a 7-3 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This one taken at the seven. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. A shotgun snap to Stafford. That's into the hands of Jordan Whittington. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. 
Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. He'll find his tight end. It's Kobe Parkinson. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. That's the last year's rookie sensation, Puka Nakua. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. A give and here comes Williams he'll work forward for a couple Jordan Davis the man in the middle brings it to an end look him up on a second down and eight on the give it's Williams and that'll go for a gain of about four. The rookie, Quinion Mitchell, up to make the play defensively. Backfield empties. Five receivers in the formation for third down. And five. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got a man. That's Nakua complete. That's two catches on this drive. This one for 10 yards and a first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. Here's first and 10. From the gun. Here's Stafford. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate going up top that is gonna be Paul in he's got it Colby Parkinson touchdown LA all week we're gonna see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver but Mike the part that people don't give enough credit to in order to get a downfield shot you have to have time and what a great job by the offensive line allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket let those deeper routes develop be on time and accurate with the ball and that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week let's give the big guys up front some credit the extra point from party is good and the rams are on top it's now 10 to 7. Here's Cardi now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Now return coming from the seven. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line.
They'll start on the ground with Barkley. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. On first down, it's Hurts. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Look in middle, and he's got Brown. A good spot here, second and a yard. Ben in motion is Brown. Hurts will try it again. A pass. Caught by Saquon. And he'll get about five here as he's out of bounds with a first down. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. That is brought in at the 10. And he's going to be taken down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Here's Barkley. He'll get a yard or two to the eight. Second and goal. Here's second and goal. One more time, they try Barkley. And he churns out some of the hard yards in this area of the field, working it to the three-yard line. They'll use three tight ends in the formation, for third and goal. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And he's going to be taken down. Sack back at the 17-yard line. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. fourth down it's Jake Elliott time for the Eagles this from 34 yards Elliott's kick is good and the Eagles will level the score at 10 apiece and that's really well done here Mike I mean everything's in rhythm a good snap a good hold and a good kick ties this game
Ball level at 10 as this one's kicked off. This one taken at the 7. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Play action, Stafford. He'll get this one to his safety valve, complete. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Second down, it's Stafford. Quick throw here is complete. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. Tied at 10 apiece. We're back in Southern California in a moment. They'll go with Williams. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Stafford. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Kyron Williams, the intended receiver there. Now it's going to be third down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Throw it on third down. Stafford. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. First down, it is William. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Stafford now on second down. This one taken in by Parkinson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball and really nice job picking up the first down that is caught and he'll take it on in Colby Parkinson touchdown Rams he's got another one his second touchdown of the evening and that is number two Greg he is off to some kind of start in this one two quarters and two receiving touchdowns Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy.
Cardi now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Rams go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. Here's Cardi now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. To return is Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. On the ground, it's Parkley to start the drive. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. shotgun snap now to Hertz. Quick throw on the slant taken in by Smith. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Hertz. That's complete. Tight end got it. And he puts his head down and he picks up the first down. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one and they were able to make the completion. So first and 10 here now at the 38. On the carry, this is Kenneth Gainwell. And a nice gain there on first down. He takes it forward for eight yards. He'll come to the line now on second and two. They'll run straight ahead with Barkley. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. A first down throw for Hertz. He's going to air this one out looking for Dotson. He is in. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Eagles. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Eagles will come back to tie things at 17.
So back to level after the touchdown. In time for the kickoff. This returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten working out of the gun Stafford that's a nice pickup on a first down throw it's a gain of eight really nice timing on that slant route you can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page and when executed at that level it's virtually impossible to stop here's second and two to throw is Stafford gets it away quickly and it's caught and that's going to be a first down a pickup of nine receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove and there's these weird times in the game Mike where it just seems like every ball comes your way every play they call you're wide open and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about so they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field there's no mistake in who it is not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's second and nine. A shotgun snap to Stafford. trying to avoid the rush there he's hit as he threw in the pass is incomplete nice example there Mike of the quarterback just being smart with the ball understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended throw that ball out of harm's way live to play another down third down and not Stafford now he'll get this out to the left flat and he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. Hurts going to fire this one out to Smith. He'll drop to throw. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. 11 yards for number 11. And a first down. Hurts again. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A 
run with Barkley. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Barkley. And he is fortunate to get past the line of scrimmage. Call it a yard at most. Christian Rose boom. They're on the tackle. Here's a second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Open man is Smith. He's got him. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Third down, three to go. To throw is Hurts. He's got his man. Right side, it's complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. It's really just an extended handoff. Get the ball out wide to your running back in space and make the defense tackle him. That's really all this is. Something small turns into a nice pickup. A pistol snap back to Hertz. There's the tight end, Grant Calcaterra. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Hurts will try it again. He pulls it in around the five. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by the rookie from Tennessee. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Throw to the right flat. It is caught. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time a team forces a takeaway, fumble, or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot, a deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. We just saw a great example of it here. A first down throw for Stafford. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. Right side, complete to Nakua. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down.
Tight end on the move left. Throw it on third down, Stafford. This one caught by Parkinson. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia offense set to take over once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. First and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's to the left side and taken in by Smith. It's a gain of 16 and very quickly a first down. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half and just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. So from the 36, it is first and 10. Hurts going to hold on to this one. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. So, two minutes to play in a back and forth first half. Greg and I return to SoFi Stadium after a short break. Hurts. Working in the pistol. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. Got this one complete to Goddard. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. It is a big play for the Eagles. 35 yards. The biggest correlation between scoring points in the NFL is your ability to generate explosive plays. And oftentimes, the best explosive plays in the passing game happen when the quarterback is outside the pocket and great example of it here on first down it's hurts a gain there of 13 yards this has been a great drive and mostly at the hands of the man with the ball there he thought about pulling the trigger on that one thought better of it decides to take off with his legs and now he's going to have first and goal they've got it at the eight first down and goal. Now Hurts. A pass caught by Saquon. And he's going to be stopped at about the four. Inside the five, it is second and goal. Now Hurts. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That his second touchdown tonight. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. Here's Elliott for the extra point. Yeah. 
It's up and good. And the Eagles will go up by seven. time final minute of this first half we'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way he'll work his way across the 25 yard line Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense getting set to go again and he's had things all his way in the first half those numbers are sensational he looks to add to him with another drive here They'll come up here first and ten. Back to throw is Stafford. Here's a screen set up to Williams. And that screen slow to develop, and they rally to the ball and stop him. That will be no gain on the screen. It's a really good job defensively. The key is you don't want your defensive lineman to overcommit to rushing the passer. And you don't want your linebackers in secondary dropping too deep defending the pass. In this case, all three levels play discipline, good football with good vision. And that's why they're able to stop him for no gain. One final throw before the break. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Eagles were led in the first half by their dynamic quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, it's Kenneth Gainwell. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes... And some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Hurts looking to throw on first down. This one is caught by Dotson. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They'll run it here with Saquon. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call. And you can see the end result. On third down, it's Hurts. He's going to air this one out looking for Dotson. 
This offense has to find a way to be better on first and second down, Mike. Living in these third and long situations, must pass, is not a recipe that their offensive coordinator wants to operate in. So on fourth down, they'll call on Braden Mann to punt. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford heading back onto the field. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. And the drive begins with a run by Williams. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 24. Josh Sweat there on the tackle. Here's second and six. They'll go again with Williams. And he'll pick up two out to the 27. Here's a third down and four. Play action now for Stafford. And that is incomplete. The whole idea of the play action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. DeGene to return it. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Here's Barkley. That's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's a second and three forthcoming. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. The open receiver is Dotson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. And this time, they are ready for it. Thrown for a loss. And it's second down. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. And that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. A short throw taken in by Goddard. Really nice job there defensively playing the integrity of that zone defense so well. Anytime an offense is running these crossing routes or these underneath drag routes, they're trying to cause confusion. 
with the underneath zone defenders. In this case, they all stuck to their reads. They all played their responsibilities. And they're not able to pick up any additional yards after the catch. And this ball incomplete on third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Here comes the Eagles punt team. As they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. Kyron Williams and the Rams offense ready to get back to work. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. Here's first and ten. This looks like a design run. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. They face second down and seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now Stafford... They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. He'll get this out wide. 18 yards on the pickup there. Good for a Rams first down. the ground this is Williams running room hard to come by as he'll get ahead for a yard the veteran Darius Slay they're on the stop Stafford now on second down under pressure and down he goes they got him if there's any silver lining for this drive Mike it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down so I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole but that's the third sack of the game this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. From the gun, here's Stafford. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and... It also gives some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. This will be returnable from his own 15. And he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. Set to go now on first and ten. Now it's Hurts. That's taken in left side by Smith. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Big time play for Philly. 
It's a gain of 34. Mike, it just seems like certain games each week just align for matchups like we're seeing today. Just two quarterbacks trading blow for blow, putting on a show for their respective teams. Let's see if he can finish this drive off with another touchdown following that big play. A first down throw for Hertz. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? To throw on second down is Hurts. Pass downfield is caught by Brown. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. On the handoff, this is Barkley. And not much there. Down to about the 13. Look him up on a second down and eight. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That is caught at the three. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Having the ability to move your running back to the widest receiver, they call those the number one receiver, meaning he's the closest to the sideline. It really forces a defense to show their hand. Do we keep a corner out there, and I know it's zone, or do I move a linebacker or safety out there? And he will take this one across into the end zone. Saquon Barkley, touchdown, Eagles. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score, and Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike, and it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles will extend this third quarter lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Rams offense make their way out to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face it's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast and right now they're teeing off and taking advantage of it on first down it's Stafford this one caught by Parkinson. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. On play action, it's Stafford. Hop brings it in left side. 
And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Play action, Stafford. That finds Nakua downfield, complete. 25 yards, the pick up there. First down, L.A. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. A first down throw for Stafford. This one taken in by Parkinson. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The drag route, we used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. Open man is Robinson. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. carry it's Williams and the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take it inside the 10 to the 8 yard line and he continues to carry the ball well another nice one here but as they find themselves continuing to trail here in the second half the opposing team's defense is not really concerned about the run game they need to find a way to use the pass to get the lead and then go back to this run game to close the game out And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. Cooper Cup was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second and goal. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. That is caught. He's in to Marcus Robinson. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. On comes Joshua Cardi for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Rams will cut the deficit to seven. Here's Cardi now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. He'll start at the four. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense. 
set to take over once more. And he was unguardable in the first half. You see the numbers as they try to add to those here in the third quarter. So they come to the line for first down and 10. A pistol snap back to Hertz. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. Second and seven. Dotson, the man in motion. A second down throw for Hertz. He'll get this over the middle to Smith. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's Hurts. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up second down. They just rush that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. He'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. He's brought down by Kobe Turner. What can they do here on third down and seven? From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Oh, he's got this one complete to Goddard. And he will score. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. What a luxury to have in an offense. A tight end who can take it down the field like that and take it the distance. Shades of Greg Olson back in the day. Well, I appreciate that, Mike. But I think it's clear by now that we all know what's the most impactful position on offense. It's the tight end. And when you have a guy like this who can not only make those difficult catches underneath, but who can get down the field for these big plays, man, you got yourselves a weapon. On is Elliott to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Eagles are going to extend their lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Here's Smith to return it. Now an opening past the 30. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. A play fake. Now Stafford to throw. This one is caught by Robinson. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. The main goal for these quarterbacks when they're facing zone defense, Mike, is to identify the soft spots quickly. You need your guys to get open and stay open all before that defense has a chance to get home with their rush. They want to tie the coverage in with the rush unit. Like you see here, when you can give good protection and your receivers can get open and find those open spots. You deliver the ball on time. There's a lot of room to operate. 
These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. It's another run here for Williams. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. N'Kobe Dean in on the tackle. Third and nine. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. The Eagles offense ready to take over once again. And as we look back at some of the highlights of this one, Greg, definitely a lot to show from the passing game. Yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of learning to do because you just get burned time and time again. You'd think at some point you'd make an adjustment and make a correction. So at this point, they've given up four touchdown passes. You're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL giving up that production in one phase of the game. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Quick slant into the hands of Smith. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. And Sunday Night Football continues after this. Second down and three. Now, Hurts. That's over the middle and caught by Smith. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. they got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. He'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. They'll send a tight end in motion. Now Hurts going to call his own number. And he gets it to midfield, and he gets the first down. Good run. The drive continues. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. Hurts going to keep it on the option. And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back. But the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. 
Stays with him. Keeps him to a short game. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. This one is caught by Dotson. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here's a third down and four. Hurts to throw. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. And they are great shape he's taken down inside the 10 big time completion right there and this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter they were not only trying to pick up points but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead so really nice job here late let see if they can put this one out of reach here's a chance to put this game away first down and goal Man in motion is Smith. And this is not going to work out as planned. Tough spot to try to run a play like that. It is blown up behind the line. It's back at the eight now for second and goal. Here's a handoff to Barkley. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. On fourth down, here comes Jake Elliott for the Philadelphia field goal. This, about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Eagles will extend their lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Stafford now to throw on first down. 
And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. A throw to the right flat. It is caught. Third and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. A 19-yard pickup there. Good for a Rams first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead and... The age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. To the air again, Stafford. There's that man again, another catch. 11 yards on the connection there. First down, L.A. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Caught by Nakua on the out route. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll come up now for second down and four. They'll throw once more. Here's Stafford. Over the middle, it's cut. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but... You still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. Here's a handoff to Williams. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. This one taken in by Parkinson. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver, who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. And that's going to wind up uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down Stafford to throw it that's taken in 
And this won't be a touchdown, but it will be a first down as they're able to get the conversion and set up first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with sick? And that big offensive line, clearing space. He's in. Kyron Williams. Touchdown, L.A. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Mm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Cardi now to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Rams are able to cut the deficit to 10. Here's Cardi now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Gainwell to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Eagles offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. First and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage, but that's all he can get out of that one. So often the best pass defense is a good pass rush, and that's exactly what we saw here. The pass rush disrupted this play from the very start. The quarterback has all of his attention on the rushers rather than his receivers downfield. All he can manage to do is get back to the original line of scrimmage. To throw on second down is Hurts. Now a quick throw taken in by Brown. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. On first down, it hurts. He's going to keep it himself. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. A first down throw for Hurts. That'll be caught left side. It's Goddard. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Hertz working in the pistol. He'll go left side here and complete this one. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Running from the pistol with Barkley. Can he get away? No! He's going to be taken down behind the line. 
At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. They'll run here with Gainwell. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. You've got to consider this an absolute must-stop defensively. It's third down. They'll run it to the right here with Barkley. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. On fourth down, here comes Jake Elliott for the Philadelphia field goal. This is going to be a 51-yard attempt. And that is no good. He missed it. And their lead will stay right where it is. They're just trying to extend the lead here, and this is definitely one they're going to want to have back. They'll come up for first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Open downfield is Parkinson. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. This is a great opportunity now for the offense to really seize control of this game. They just saw their opponent miss a field goal try, come out aggressive on the ensuing possession, strike deep early. Now see if they can put this drive together and end it with some points. That is brought in. No touchdown, but they are close. Going to be first and goal. They've got it at the three. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Now, first and goal. Throwing Stafford. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Cooper, pop, touchdown, Rams. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. On comes Joshua Cardi for the extra point. The kick is good. Important extra point. The difference is just three. A field goal here in the fourth quarter. A one-score game late, and you figure they got to have this one as they'll try an onside kick. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. 
There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick. Not much of a chance. The Eagles offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So it's a win here for the Eagles. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, they got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. Good night, everybody.